Hey guys, sup, 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 Rudy here for the Ethereum Council. We're getting even more news. Like, Konami's just being too good to us lately. So coming, I believe this is in July. I, I want to say it's like July 11th. We have Battle Pack 3 Monster League. And let me just say that that is, honestly, that is pretty much the coolest looking, like, set of Battle Pack packs I've ever seen. Maybe that's just me. I, I'm a sucker for things like this. I mean... Here's our first batch of spoilers. I mean, there's nothing like um, really amazing reprint wise, but there is the Kokimaru Bear thing. I can't remember its name. I mean, that's pretty cool as a reprint. Uh, there's a wind up here. It's just to, you know, analyze some stuff here. But honestly, these packs look really cool. So let's break down what is actually coming inside of that there be besides these. Alright, it is a sealed set, that's pretty much what you come to expect, and every card, like, alright, they've done away with the Star Foil, they're going to the Hidden Arsenal, a uh, Hidden Arsenal, the Dual Terminal, shattered, like, glass look, like you see on my Lava Wall Chain, my Duck Gus, or Emerald, my M7 that you may see in some of the videos, it's got that nice look to it, um, from what they're saying, so hopefully it does come out really nice, I mean, it's like a $2 pack, you can't go wrong with it. Um, we're also getting 10 brand new cards that Japan doesn't have yet. It's uh, two new monsters, two new spells, and six new traps. And we have two of the names. I, I don't know what they do, just saying. Um, one, of the, one of them is called Ghost from the Past. And, well, here's a clue for you. Whether you're making your dead work for you with Ghost of the Past or spinning out some quick defense with Quantum Cat... These cards are designed to throw a new twist to duels. Okay. Let's break down uh, Ghost of the Past. That's my heater, by the way. Ghost of the Past. That seems like something that's going to be a reborn card. Um, maybe from the graveyard. Maybe like another soul charge in a trap form. I don't really know. It's kind of hard to say. It does say that whether you're making the dead work for you, so that's pretty much a giveaway, that's going to be some kind of reborn card. Um, who knows? And Quantum Cat sounds like some kind of battle fader is card because they're talking about defense. And that's, honestly, that's like the biggest defense. They're talking about Shadow Foil cards, which is what I mentioned, which is that glassy look, you know, that glassy shattered look from the dual terminal sets. And I think that's going to look amazing. The full set is 237 cards. Each pack will contain one of these Shadow, uh, shadow Foil cards. The Exceeds are back in here. So... Let's take, a, let's take a gander at what possibly could be reprinted. Um, there's a lot of level 4s here. So I'm expecting some good level 4 reprints. Maybe a guy like a Cowboy or um, Black Ship or Direwolf. I know someone's going to go, 101! I think it's still too early for 101, but you never know with Konami what they have up their sleeves. Again, I personally think it's too early, but I know someone's going to say it, so... I'll be the devil's advocate. Maybe. You never know what Konami. You never know what they're thinking next. Okay. So um, this here, and there'll be a link down in the description. You know, that thing that no one ever looks at. It's that, That's what it's there for. Besides the constant, you know, link to our Facebook page to get updates to understand us a little better. Um, this has, you know, basically the draft. And this does affect YCS, obviously, when it comes to the um, top 16. So here's my one question I have to ask you besides if you guys are obviously excited for this. I personally am because Battlestorm! Sorry. Sorry, can is this? My one question is this. When the set launches, would you like to see the likes of, say, myself and Mikey have a draft battle? Which is basically we buy a couple packs, we build a deck from it, and we go at it. Would you guys be interested in something like that? But you guys are going to have to remind me about that kind of stuff because I will forget because that is a few months from now. I mean, I am super excited because these are the kind of packs. It's like, hey, I got $2 in my wallet and I'm on a budget or I just got to throw money around and I got a pack addiction. This is how I handle my pack addiction. And honestly, it may just be my OCD tendencies. The colors are just so like vibrant and well. It reminds me of Easter. It, it puts me in a good mood. I mean, you got blue, you got green, you got turquoise, you got yellow, you got that orange, that red, that pink, that purple, and that dark 
I want to call it dark blue, but it is what it is. I mean, honestly, what you guys think will be reprinted here? It's a battle pack set. Keep that in mind. And it's monster themed, so I'm just going to take a crack and say some epic monsters that are level 4. And we all know there's quite a few. Maybe we'll see Tardy Orc reprinted in here. And the only reason I bring up Tardy Orc, remember, this is a battle pack set. So everything is a little bit different when it comes to being played out. You're not forced to go into your I Summon Dragon Ruler or I, I Summon Medulce or Artifact Drop. You know, it's going to be totally different. And who knows? Maybe, just maybe, Konami will throw a curveball and say, you know what? We're going to reprint some of the artifacts. Maybe not the ultra rares. Maybe some of the commons just for shits and giggles. Who knows? You never know with Konami. You never know what they have next. You just, you don't know. Get crazy. Um, that's also something I wanted to mention. I was going to say Wolf Bark, but the thing with Wolf Bark, like, being reprinted here, because I think they're going to save it for the Megatons. Um, mainly it's just because it wouldn't really fit the theme. It's all monster based, but, you know, they got to really have standalone. But here's my point, and there's a king going nuts in the back, is you got this guy here, Evil Hero Infernal Gainer, I think that's his name. Um, works with other fiends, so there's got to be other fiends in there. Dodge a dragon, just generic, and he needs Kokimiru, so you, I guess you can use Kokimiru and Kokimiru if you're lucky enough. I don't know, it's just whatever. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. If you like what you saw, make sure to hit that subscribe button that's also down by the description, and um, yeah, they call it the Summer's End. I, I count August as Summer's End, but teach your own. So if you guys like what we saw, make sure to hit that like button. It's that thumbs up thing, you know, that's down below my mouse cursor. And if you guys really enjoyed the video and you got, you want to answer that comment, you know, that question I asked, just put it in the comment section. I will definitely get back to you sometime um, in the near future, like next 20 minutes or so, depending if I'm still awake, I'm trying to fix my sleep schedule. So anyway, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you next video. And as always, I'm ready for the Yu-Gi-Oh! Council. Peace.